Hello and welcome to Precon Decon, the video series where I deconstruct the pre-constructed decks of Magic the Gathering's history. In this video we're going to start looking at the Planeswalker decks from the Dominaria set. Uh, we're going to start by looking at Chandra, Bold Pyromancer, which is a red and green deck. It's taken us this long to get a Planeswalker deck that is red green, which is, uh, is very weird. Uh, normally you'd expect these quite early on, but here we are. Uh, right, so the deck list, we've got 23 creatures, 5 instants, 4 sorceries, 1 artifact, 26 land, and of course a single planeswalker. And we've got a mana curve off to the side there, quite a, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite a packed mana curve as we'll see, but there are, there's, there's a reason for that. Uh, so let's start looking at the cards. So the, um, foil face, <laughs> the foil planeswalker is uh, Chandra, Bold Pyromancer, so 4 and double red for 5 loyalty planeswalker, that's kind of, you know, the average of what we've seen. Um, so her plus 1 uh, gives you double red. And uh, she does two damage to target player. I think that's that's fairly okay. I think that's okay as a as a as a plus one ability. That's all right. Um, helps. I, I just there's a big theme in the deck of like kicker. So something that adds more mana is 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 pretty good. And also you could also make this kind of claim that like oh if you use her plus one the turn you play her then really it's like you cost she cost four mana because yeah you immediately get two back. So yeah, kind of like um. Uh, old Garrick Wildspeed used to be like when you cast it and then immediately untapped the like two of the lands you to used to cast him. Uh, she's got minus three, does three damage to type creature or planeswalker. Yeah, that's fine. And then minus seven, so quite a cheap ultimate. Uh, does ten damage to target player and each creature and planeswalker they control. So it doesn't take her long to actually to get up to that ultimate. And you know, obviously that is a, you know just a big swing of damage. Um, you know, it's very straightforward. It's just burn damage, but it is a lot of burn damage. It's you know, it's a huge one-sided sweep essentially. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. Good. I think this Chandra is is pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, just like there's, I don't think there's anything much wrong with her. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty solid. I think. All right, and then her signature cards. Uh, so we've got two Chandra's Outburst, uh, three in double red. Does four damage to target player or planeswalker, and then search for Chandra Bold Pyromancer. Yeah, this is, I think, okay, like five mana to do, well, four damage to a player or planeswalker at sorcery speed is, yeah, that's okay, but obviously it's tacking on the search well. That's okay, it's kind of like in the um, the middle of the pack, I would say, for these kind of search spells we've seen so far. Uh, three, Carplusen Hound, Carplusen, Carplusen, I don't know, whatever, This three three doggos. Um, so three in red for three, three, so old hill giant stats. Uh, whenever it attacks, if you control a Chandra planeswalker, does two damage to any target. Again, just another kind of underwhelming planeswalker buddy relies on one card in the whole deck to actually work. Um, yeah, like it's an okay ability and you can get it switched on, but you know, most of the time it's just going to be a hill giant, isn't it? Um, so yeah, fine, fine. Um, and then four pyromantic pilgrims, uh, two in red for three, one with haste, which is sure that's okay, I suppose. Um, it kind of feels like a little, I suppose, I don't know, at odds with the deck because a lot of the deck is like ramping up to big. Um, kicked spells, and this is quite cheap, so it comes down is obviously more aggressive. I don't know. It, like, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, you know, 3-1 haste, isn't it? That's okay. Right, let's start looking at the rest of the deck. So, we got a single Gaitu Chronicler. Uh, so one in red for a 1-3. It has Kicker uh, for three in red. So Kicker, if you're uh, if you're not familiar with it or you're new to the game, uh, so Kicker is an additional cost you, uh, you pay as you play the spell. Uh, so in this case, uh, you could um, cast Gaitu Chronicler for either two or five, like three in double red. And, uh, you know, if when it ends, usually when you enter the battlefield or like, you know, something like that, if you pay the kick cost, it has a it has an increased effect. Uh, so in this case, uh, Geist of Chronicle, if you kick it, um, when it ends the battlefield, you get an instant or sorcery from your graveyard back to your hand. So that's okay. I'm going to try really, really hard while looking at these kicker cards not to fall into the old Cavu Titan kicker trap where it's just like, oh man, that kicker is really expensive and like you'd have to hold off a really long time to get the most value out of it. Most of the time, like, it's nice if you can get the kicker, but like, if you if you just need a 1-3 to block with, you can absolutely do that. And it can feel bad, like, oh, I didn't get to do the really big expensive kicker ability. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's a bonus, not <laughs> not expected, you know, if that if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is fine. Um only having the one kind of hurts because there are some okay instants and sorceries in the uh, in the deck to use. But this is okay. Uh, two Baloth Gorger, two and double green for a four four, uh, which is I mean that's perfectly fine. Like four managers for a four four is absolutely fine, even if you don't kick it. Uh, but it's got a kicker for four generic. Um, if it was kicked, it comes in with three plus one plus one counts in it. So it's either four mana for a four four, or it's eight mana for a seven seven. Like both those options are fine. If you can afford the eight mana, that's absolutely fine. But it's fine as a four four for four as well. So yeah, that's okay. Um, and then a single Croton Druid, uh, two and a green for a 2-3, has kicker for four and a green. 
Um, if it ends the bad for it, it was kicked you getting 10 life. Sure. I and mean, that is like a really big um, swing of life. But yeah, I say. It, it, if, you, if you can afford the kicker, absolutely fine. If you can't, it's fine. It's a 2 3 for 3 with, yeah, that's okay. Obviously, that's a little disappointing in, in green at this point in the game. But yeah, that's okay. Um, and then we have a single Grun the Lonely King. Uh, this actually, yes, um, card face update. This is where now they've started doing this fancy um, border for legendary um, legendary permanents, which is pretty cool, I think. Anyway, uh, so Grun the Lonely King, uh, four and double green for a five five with kicker three. Um, if he was kicked again, he ends the battlefield with five plus one plus one counters on it. And when he attacks alone, double its power and toughness to end a turn. I I really like Grun the Lonely King. I think that's pretty cool because um, you know. Okay, six mana just for a five five when he attacks alone goes up to being a ten ten. That's okay, um, but if you manage to kick him, uh, what then he's what nine mana? Then he's a ten ten, and if he attacks alone, then he's a twenty twenty. I think that's just like a really nice, fun, dumb, big card. You know, um, I don't think there's any ways in the deck of giving like trample or anything, which is a real shame. But uh, yeah, I think you know definitely do worse than having Grun in here. Um, yeah, it's pretty. I think it's a pretty fun card. Uh, we've got three Elfame Druids, one in a green for a 0-2. Uh, taps to give you green, or taps to give you uh, double green, but spend this mana only to cast kick spells. So yeah, that, that helps you um, ramp up some, into some of those really big, expensive um, uh, kicker kicker costs. Uh, and they've got two Llanowar Elves, uh, nice new art Llanowar Elves, uh, just a single green for a 1-1 one, one that taps to give you green. So that's that's nice, isn't it? Um, I want to say, is this the first pre-constructed tech we've had with Llanowar Elves? It can't be the first pre-con we've had with Llanowar Elves. But then looking back, I can't think. Maybe a corset one. Maybe. Man, that feels weird if this is the first pre-con with Lanowar Elves in it for such a iconic card. Anyway. Lanowar Elves is great. It's kind of a shame there's only two. I'd, it would have been so nice to have like a full playset of these. But yeah. Lanowar Elves is Lanowar Elves. The, the, the original, the best Manor Elf. And then this is a really weird choice. Marwin the Nurturer. So two and a green for a 1-1. One, one. Uh, whenever, whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, you put a plus one, plus one counter on Marwin. Taps to give you green equal to Marwin's power. Um, there's only six elves in the deck. There's Marwin. She doesn't count herself for her ability. So you've only got the, um, the, the was it, the Elfheim, Elfheim Druid and the Lanwar Elves. Um, I mean, obviously, if it goes off, that's okay. If you get at least, <clears throat> I think, one counter on her, then, okay, she gives you double green. That's okay. But um, I don't think living up to her full potential in this deck. Um, obviously, there's I think there's other ways to increase her power, but, like, those are one-turn buffs. So, I mean, you could do something there where you, you know, cast one of the buff spells for, I think there's one here which is only, like, one green mana or maybe maybe two, and she goes up to then a 4-4, four, four, and then... She makes four mana, so you sort of get two extra mana. And then I suppose you could do that, but it's a very weird card to include when there's not like a big um, elf like tribal focus in the deck. But yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's just a weird choice. Uh, single guy is protector. Uh, so three in the green for a four two. It has to be blocked if able. Yep, this is fine. Like a, with a kind of a provoke ability. This is okay. I like this. Um, and then three fire elemental, three and double red for a five four. Again, another original elemental uh, showing up here. A fire and air have made it all the way through because um, they're, I guess, sort of still okay. Whereas earth and water were were not so great. Um, but yeah, this is fine. It's, yeah, it's just a five four for five. Actually, it makes me think. Actually, like even like because you know, it's like an alpha card um, that keeps getting reprinted. Like. This is actually pretty, like, for back in the day, this was actually pretty well costed for, like, red to be, like, a 5-4 five, for five, 5 with no drawback was actually okay, I think. Um, and it's still, because it still sort of holds up now in, like, at this time in the in the game's history. It's still sort of okay for, like, a red common. So, yeah, I think it's okay. And then a single primordial worm, 4 and double green for a 7-6. For a yeah, that's fine. So not not I said I'd still prefer like colossal dread more to this because like I'd rather have the trample I think on the one extra power but yeah it's fine it's okay all right and then non creature spells uh so a single fight with fire uh so two and a red uh with kicker five and a red so you, you potentially cast this for a massive nine mana if you want um so if it's unkicked it does five damage to a creature if it is kicked it does ten damage divided as you choose amongst any number of targets instead um which is huge that is worth something like maybe holding on to the um, kick a cost four because again, like ten damage split amongst anything you want is really really strong. But again, if you you know it shouldn't sit in your hand waiting for the kicker. If you if you have it at the time you have the mana, absolutely kick it. But if you absolutely need to kill a creature, 
um, then cast for three, cast for three and do five damage. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's the play rather than hold on and hope you're going to hit nine mana. Um, so yeah, I, I think fight with fire is okay. Uh, we got single fiery intervention. Uh, four and a red uh, does five damage to a creature or destroy an artifact. Um, this matters if you if you're playing this against um, the um, the other. Dominar deck, the Teferi deck, so there's quite a lot of artifacts in there. Um, but yeah, that's okay. I think I, I do think it's a little expensive um, just because it has like the mod, even with the modularity, I think that's like because oh, it just makes me really sad to think paying five mana at sorcery speed just to destroy an artifact. I'd understand if it was like one or both kind of thing, but like, oof, that is not great as an artifact removal spell, is it? Uh, and then two Shivan Fire, one red mana, uh, instant speed, kick of four, does two damage to that creature if it was kicked, does four to that creature instead. Yeah, it's kind of like a more limited shock, isn't it? That can it's, it's no burst lightning, you know? <laughs> burst lightning is, uh, you know, takes this thing's lunch money. This, it's still okay, though. It's still fine. Uh, and then two Gift of Growth. Ah, this is the pump spell I was thinking of. Uh, so one in the green. With kicker two, untapped target creature gets plus two, plus two turn turn. So this is actually quite nice that it does the uh, surprise untap as well. Always a always a fan of this. So at the very least, it's um savage surge, uh like two mana for a plus two plus two untap. If it was kicked, uh it's plus four plus four on the untap instead. So yeah, four mana for a plus four plus four and surprise untap is is pretty good. This is this uh, this is pretty good. I think I like this. Um, single pierce the sky, one in a green uh, instant speed to deal seven damage to a creature with flying. Um, obviously quite niche. Um, that is a huge amount of damage though for only for only two, but obviously it's limited in what it can hit. Um, I feel like this would be an easy first cut maybe. Um, but you know it is obviously like a really good bit of um, anti flyer tech I suppose. Um, I think I would still prefer just plummet over this like for the straight up destroy. But yeah, this this is fine. Uh, and then the other end deck is Gilded Lotus, uh, so this is really nice here. Uh, so five mana artifact and taps just to give you three mana of any color, which obviously really helps all the um, these big kicker costs. Um, so yeah, this is fine. Obviously you gotta like ramp up into it, um, but then yeah, because if you get this like you know five mana and then potentially next turn six, and then you got like nine mana open, then that could be that's a pretty huge um pretty huge ramp I think. So yeah, this is a nice inclusion. Uh, and then four timber gorges, which are red green tap land, eleven mountains and eleven forests. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about what could have been. Um, and it's all right, isn't it? It's okay. Uh, there's there's definitely better kicker spells I think we could have included, or stuff that synergizes with kicker. So the the big one is Halar the Fire Fletcher. So one a red and a green for a three three with trample. Whenever you cast a spell, if that spell was kicked, put a plus one plus one counter on Halar. Then Halar deals damage equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on it to each opponent. So I guess for this you obviously needed more like cheap kicker spells because. A lot, of, you know, a lot of those cells we've seen have like really high kicker costs. So, uh, you know, I guess you wanted more of the stuff like, I don't know, like Shivan Fire or like what was it the Unchecked Growth? Unchecked Growth was it? Gift of Growth, um, because that was like fairly cheap, so you could do that, and then Halar gets the counter, and then I guess, but yeah, you know, I, I, this makes more sense. It's, yeah, it's red green, and it's in Joseph with the kicker. Uh, Bloodstone Goblin uh, as well could have gone here. So one red for a two two. Whenever you cast a spell, if it was kicked. Um, Bloodstone Goblin gets plus one, plus one, gets Menace Slender turn, that's okay. Um, and Skizik, this is a really nice reprint all the way back from Original Invasion, so three and a red uh, for a five, three with Trample and Haste, has kick for one red, um, at the beginning of the end step, um, it gets sacrificed if it wasn't kicked. So for five mana, actually just to keep around a five, three trampling Haste is, I think, pretty good. Um, but, you know, if you obviously need it to swing in that one turn on, like, turn four or whatever, then you can. Um, and then just some more options here. I thought Untamed Kavu would be pretty good. This is actually uh, really, really nice, I think. Uh, so one in the green for a 2-2 two -two with the Vigilance and Trample. That on its own, I think, is pretty good. Just like two mana just for that. Um, and kick it for three. And if it's kicked, it comes in with three plus one plus one counts on it. So like for five mana to have a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Trample is is pretty solid. I think that, that could have fit in here, I think. Um, and then I thought Siege Gang Commander, because this is a really nice reprint as well. Um, I thought this could have been here instead of Marwin, maybe like th um, just because I think it goes better with what the maybe the deck's trying to. I get I know like Marwin is ramp, but her ramp is like so conditional because like most times she's just gonna give you like one green mana, um, because you know it's so reliant on having more elves come out to give her give her the counters. Whereas Siege Gang Commander is great, three and double red for a two two ends the battlefield, makes three goblins, and you can sacrifice goblins to do 
two damage to any target. That's really, really solid, I think. Uh, and also then to go with the goblins, goblin barrage, um, three and a red, sorcery, kicker, sacrifice an artifact or a goblin, does four damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it uh, also does four damage to target player or planeswalker. And this would have been nice as well if you had like the kicker synergy stuff, because this is not a free kicker, but it's a mannerless kicker cost. So um, you can you can kick it without having to like ramp up into it, if you see what I mean. So that could have worked, I suppose. But yeah, I'd like to know what you think of this one. I think it was okay. Um, yeah, I'd like overall, like okay, okay, like you know, pretty, pretty average, pretty, pretty okay. I think. Um, but yeah, if you have any thoughts or comments or stories, opinions about this one, stick a comment below. I'll give those a read. Uh, but about, I'll be back next time. We're going to look at the uh, the second Dominaria Planeswalker deck. Uh, so until then, thanks for watching, and listening, and have a great day.